Okay, so I've recently got a Watch ONN 4K Pro box sent to me here in the UK. And one thing I have found is I can go from having a screen like this with all these recommendations on it, which to be quite honest with you, I really don't need because I know what I want to watch when I want to watch it. How do I go from this to this simplified screen just containing my apps? Stick around. All the details coming up shortly. Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things help us make more great videos for you. So as I say, I got a Watch ONN 4K Pro box uh, last week. I've been playing around with it. And one of the things that was driving me crazy was all the adverts and all the recommendations on there. I just wanted a simplified version, just showing the apps that I currently use. So how did I do that? I mean, obviously you cannot get rid of the adverts at the top of the screen, but I'm not really too worried about that because I've just, if I go further down, I've just got the apps that I know, use and love. So how did I get rid of all of this? Like here, I've got, for instance, top picks for you. If I go down, I've got there. OK, your apps all the way along there. But if I go down further, I was watching something there on Freebie. That's come up and it's prompting me to continue watch that. That is quite handy, but no biggie. I've got top selling movies. I've got popular movies and TV shows, recommended sports videos, recommended videos documentaries, free ad supported movies, crime shows, action films, thrillers, if you like cuckoo, dramas, suspenseful films, comedies, reality shows, horror films, doomsday films, In the, the list just goes on and on and on. And if I go across to the right, there you go, I've got loads more recommendations for me. Just too much, too much for me to take in. So what I did was to get rid of all of this and just focus on the apps that I'm using, like these apps here. All I did was I just went up to the cog just over there in the top right hand corner. Then I went to the second cog just up there in the top right hand corner. I went down to accounts and sign in, press the middle button, press the middle button again. And then if you go down, there's a couple of things here you can turn off. Auto play trailers. You don't want video trailers. This is just a bit of a waste of time. Video trailers are exactly what they say. They are videos of trailers that come up for TV shows and movies that Google are trying to push. So turn those off, turn them off. OK, go down a bit further. And here, this is the magical switch that switches all of the recommendations off and puts you in a more basic street screen, just showing apps only. That's apps only mode. So highlight that middle button and then it says here apps only mode. This will hide Google's recommendations from your home screen, along with your ability to give feedback on movies or shows or add them to your watch list. Previously purchased titles from Google Play will not be accessible, but can be cast from your phone from the Google TV or YouTube mobile app. You can access all the apps installed on the device and non-personalized featured content will still be shown on your home screen. Search and the Google Assistant will be disabled in this mode. Apps can continue to show personalized recommendations and track watch history, including YouTube, YouTube TV, and other Google apps. Privacy settings are not affected. Adjust privacy settings in settings settings, privacy, or visit g.co forward slash my activity controls. So basically, this is going to disable some of the features, some of the features like, for instance, the search facility on the main screen and the Google Assistant. So you won't be able to talk to Google and ask it to do things. So if you don't miss those sort of features and if you haven't purchased any titles from Google Play, then that's not a problem too. But if you have, you, might, you won't be able to play them directly from the device. You'll have to cast them from your phone or tablet or just simply turn apps only mode off. So let's turn it on and then let's press the home button on the remote. And there you go. As you can see here, I have just literally got all of my apps on the screen. And I, 
I've got nothing along the top there. I've lost the search function. All I've got is home and I've got my account there and I've got the settings. Now, if I want to put this back and get all of these back, then all I do is I just reverse that process. So go to the cog just up there top right, go down to accounts and sign in, middle button again, go down. If I want to, I can turn autoplay trailers back on by highlighting it in middle button and I can turn off apps only mode by pressing the middle button and then just press the home button and for a second there, you just get a loading error just as it's regenerating the home page. And there you go. It's now brought back the menu along the top for you, movies, shows, apps, library. And if you're in the States, you'll get live there as well. Down here, you've got back top picks for you. You've got your apps along there as well. You continue watching top selling movies, popular movies, etc., etc. So there you go. A great little tip for you if you've got a ONN 4K Pro streaming box that you just literally want to see your apps on the home screen. So there you go. I hope this video helped. And if it did, consider hitting that thanks button and making a donation to this channel. Or if you can't do that, then have a look down in the description down below. I've got loads of great links down there for you, including my Amazon shop. If you're in the market for VPNs, a Fire TV stick, Fire TV cube or Fire Stick accessories, then we've got links down there for you too. Buying, subscribing and donating really does help support this channel. It helps me to be able to dedicate more time into researching to bring you these great videos. And whilst you're at my YouTube channel, why not stick around? I've got thousands of other videos for you right here, right now, covering all sorts of subjects. Hopefully whilst you're here, you're going to find something to educate you, entertain you, amuse you, and maybe even save you some time and money. And if you do see any videos whilst you're here that you think your friends, your family or your work colleagues might like to see, then please don't forget to share these videos on your social media timelines. Check me out on X, formerly known as Twitter. I'm at CWTEK. Also check out my website. That's CWTEK.co.uk. Thanks very much for watching and speak to you again soon. Whilst you're here, don't forget to have a look around. If you want to get to the front page of my YouTube channel in any browser, go to youtube.com forward slash Chris R. White. That's youtube.com forward slash Chris R. White. And if you haven't done so already, make sure you hit that subscribe button from that front page or when you're looking at any of my videos, hit that subscribe button just beside my channel name. Also, please, if you do like the video, hit that like button. And if you think your friends, your family or your work colleagues might like it, hit that share button and share it on your social media timelines. Subscribing, liking and sharing really does help support this channel. It enables me to spend more time researching and bringing you these great videos. Also, please don't forget to check me out on X. That's x.com forward slash CW Tech, where you can find out about all my latest video releases on any platform.